Welcome to our show, Future Trends. Today, the future of superconducting materials. Superconducting materials, they are a rare wonder in our world. They conduct electricity without resistance and are used in particle accelerators, MRI machines, and even quantum computers. But they also present challenges. Most superconductors lose their resistance only at very low temperatures, necessitating elaborate cooling processes. But what if I told you that scientists have found a material that becomes superconducting at room temperature and relatively low pressure? Yes, you heard right. The newly discovered material, nitrogen-doped lithium hydride, could usher in a new era of superconductivity. Neil Ashcroft, a British physicist, predicted as early as the 1960s that hydrogen could potentially become superconducting at room temperature. The catch? A pressure of 450 gigapascals is necessary. That's more than the pressure inside the Earth's core. But thanks to ongoing research, scientists have finally found the solution. Researchers led by Ranga Dias at the University of Rochester in New York have for the first time found a material that becomes superconducting at relatively low pressure and room temperature. By searching for a substance whose electron structure makes it a good partner for hydrogen, they found what they needed in the lanthanide lutetium. And this is where nitrogen comes into play. A small amount of nitrogen was enough to stabilize the lattice sufficiently to reduce the pressure. The result? A material that shows superconductivity at room temperature and almost normal pressures. Imagine a world with superconducting consumer electronics, resistance-free power lines and transport. Significant improvements in magnetic confinement methods for fusion reactors could now become reality. Welcome to the era of modern superconductivity. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates and exciting topics.